Не стреляйте, пожалуйста. Right, hey, I see you. All right, okay. So he's not there. Um. Oh no, don't say I've come back without him. I thought he was making his way here. That's the way I interpret it anyway. Oh no, he's over here apparently, so that's... Double check the map. Yeah, he's only over here somewhere. Is that him I see there? I beg you, just keep quiet. What's the matter? Shh, quiet, please. Otherwise, it will hear us. What? What? Why don't you go back to May? Malyshev instead of sitting here. I was on my way to the poor sick fellows, but some animal picked up my scent. I decided to hide here and wait. Maybe it will go away finally. Hardly. Well, I'll make it go away. Is that a bloody... Oh, it's a bloodsucker of all things. Right, okay, I took care of the bloodsucker. Can we go now? So it was a bloodsucker. I'll make sure I'll make sure to make a record in my diary about the peculiar sounds these creatures emit while hunting. Yeah, of course, let's go to the sick right now. I hope they're still alive. You almost got eaten, and you talk about peculiar sounds. Okay, let's go. Kind of think that quest there was a little bit pointless, really. Sometimes find that with mods, they drag out a quest, sometimes anyway, so much. Uh, but that's really the only one I've come across so far that seems to be, from memory, just a bit needless. So what is your diagnosis? Well, I think it makes sense to share some thoughts with you. First of all, I want to note that on the basis of my observations, we can conclude that the infection is not transmitted from person to person. It's not airborne, at least. That is, we have practically nothing to fear. I found this out before I was kidnapped by the mercenaries. So why the fuss? This doesn't make the situation less critical. I have every reason to believe that the first victim came in contact with a certain anomalous body, which was an artifact or something like that. What prompted you to come to this conclusion? I spoke to their assistant, the rookie who protects us. What he said confirmed my long-standing suspicion of the existence of an artifact hive. For your understanding, we are dealing with an artifact that serves as an incubator and consequently a breeding ground for harmful microorganisms that are likely to mutate and are capable of causing a certain number of dangerous diseases to humans. A long time ago I put forward a theory of the existence of such an artifact based on the analysis of various artifacts that impact on the development of strains of some diseases known to science. So an artifact, hopefully if it exists it's the only one. I hope so too. Actually, it's indirectly evidenced by the absence of reported epidemics among stalkers. Dysentery doesn't count. However, my information needs to be checked. This is what I'm getting at. To definitively prove my theory, I need to find the artifact and study it. Are you ready to go on a quest? I thought this was coming up. What about the patients? What will happen to them? Don't worry, I have drugs that hinder the development of the disease. 
However, we can only manufacture the vaccine if we have this hive artifact. Do you understand? <coughs> Let me think about it. I think because I want to go and do some trading first and I'll come back and say I'm ready for it. Uh, and then I'll go and do that. At some point I will go to the army warehouses. I'm not knocking this mod or any other mod for that matter. Uh, they do a great job and I wouldn't know the first place to start on how to do it but uh, I tend to prefer not so much quest lines in mods. I tend to prefer the can't explain it really. The experience that's generated with the randomness of new, know, maybe new creatures or more suits of armor available, or opening up an area that you couldn't explore very far before. But when it comes to quest after quest, it, I just find that a little bit. Uh, it's all right. I'm enjoying it, but uh, it's not my favorite way to. Uh, flesh out a mod's longevity. But uh, I think to some degree necessary though. I said come in. Don't stand. Kind of can't do without it but at the same time it can get a bit too much. I've always got something interesting right so time to change but you're still grumpy and aloof. Take a seat have a drink maybe you're mellow a bit I doubt it. Right um, I'm here for the job. So that's the jellied meat I'll take the cash. Is that it then? I'm on the job. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, that's the main quest, I think. Let's do some repairing as per usual. Uh, right, the freedom suit, definitely. G36. Um, nothing else. So it would seem that I do have to go back to the Dark Valley and help out, do something to do with his friend or something. I, I'll have to take a look at that quest in a minute. I can't see any of those. A couple of bottles of vodka. Uh, jellyfish. Sell one slug. Um, sell a couple of souls. I don't think I need any more of those buckshot shells for the moment. It's not much point, really. I haven't still got quite a lot of that left, so I might I might not get any more of that. I think I might try changing weapon as well for the next uh, excursion. Не учатся ничему некоторые и учиться не хотят. Кино американского насмотрелись или крышу срывает от жажды. Yeah, I'll get rid of the slug actually, so that's both gone, and I'm going to get rid of both the souls as well. For 400 grand now. Seven, eight. Yeah, I'll sell one of those thorns. I've got all this coffin to put up with now. Um, that's three, that's six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's about it. Right, am I sure there's nothing here I can... What thought there was something else I had to turn in. But obviously not. Right, so I was wrong. I have to go back to the Dark Valley by the looks of it. Yeah, I just didn't read this properly, which is really daft, but uh, I think I was probably thinking about uh, getting into the dark scope. But that's pretty bad. Oh well. You live and learn, so they say. Right, so let's try and sell this last bit of junk to someone like you. But no, no one's going to buy it, I don't think. So, I'll just drop it. Um, drop it here. Uh, can I sell... Can I sell the MP5? I wasn't sure. No, of course not. You can't go there. I said come in. Don't stand there. If you're looking for a place to rest, talk or bring some work, then one other door at the bar is the place for you. We're always happy to serve. Right, so let's just choose something to take with me. I'm, I was thinking about changing that for the... hasn't got a scope though. But I could take the sniper rifle, but then that's going to weigh me down a bit. Yeah, okay. Let's just do it. Let's take that. Um, won't need those. Oh, I might do. So let's get this weapon ready. Yeah, like the G36, it's very slow to uh, handle. Um, and load this beast as well. Probably could... I'm actually only carrying an extra couple of kilos more than I was before I had these two. So I guess I could I could leave this back here, I suppose. Mm, no, I'll take it. It doesn't take that grenade, so I've got to put those back. Right, let's whiz back to where that doctor is, take his quest, and then see where I've got to go. Hopefully it's in the army warehouses, that would be very convenient. Certainly plenty of... Uh, uh, can't think of the word. Plenty of uh, gaming hours in this mod. Tons of gameplay. Right, I've got to go through this 
conversation line quickly. Alright, I'm ready to go. Great, Mark 1. Then start by talking to the man that dragged those guys here. He must know where to find this artifact. They came here without it already. He mentioned something about a criminal at the garbage. Try to find out where to look for him. You also need to, a protective suit and a special container. As soon as you find the artifact, place it in the container immediately and bring it to me. I will have everything ready to research it. But don't try to handle the artifact without a protective suit. Mark 1. It will most certainly end badly for you. Be sure to wear the suit before you pick up, pick up, pick the hive up. And don't remove the suit until you bring me the artifact. I'm not quite sure of the integrity of the container. Okay, I understand. Damn, not again. So do I have to talk to this guy? Yeah, I do. Right, so about the strange artifact. What about it? Well, it looks like your guy's got sick because of it. It carries a dangerous infection. Where is it now? Shit. So it's because of that. Now I have to understand how it happened. We were on our way to the bar with a bag of artifacts. Near the entrance, Vasya Kachalov, a local criminal, bailed us up and wouldn't let us through. I'm not really a fighter, and the guys were already unable to even lift up their arms. In short, I gave him this artifact so he would leave us alone. Bloody hell, he's probably dead by now. If this artifact was the source of the disease, it serves him right. So how can I find him? It seems he went to the Dark Valley. <laughs> he was very pleased with himself and was probably going to boast about his prize. Tried to go there, judging by how quickly the guys started getting sick. This thug couldn't have gone too far. Right, okay, I'll try. Right, let's make a save. Right, let's find a little spot here. Um, PDA. Right, so find the beehive artifact. Need to go to the Dark Valley, find a unique artifact called a beehive. I do need to go to the Dark Valley anyway for barkeep, so maybe I'll do it right this time. Be very careful, be dressed in a protective suit with air recirculation since Zany didn't give precise details of the location of the cache so that means uh, like a scientist suit do you know I think I've got one of those stashed somewhere but I can't think for the life of me where it is uh, I've got the cache to buy one anyway uh, I've got to search the entire swamp Oh, okay. Seems fairly straightforward enough. Right, so... Do I just quickly check to see if Barkeep's got a protective suit? I mean, my suit... Ah, he's given me a protective suit. Right, okay. That's fine, okay. I wasn't quite sure. Right, so I think this is where I'm going to leave it for this recording session. So, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, tuning in. Uh, and uh, if you've liked the video then please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time in some more Stalker OGSE where I'll be going to the Dark Valley and hoping to sort out two of those quests uh, after that I'll pop back here hand them in hopefully there's no more strings attached and I can go to the army warehouses um, yeah army warehouses that's where it'll be next after the Dark Valley. So thanks again. Bye for now.